I'm up at Empire RV and they've got this beautiful STX 12 meter. It's a couple of years old and it's absolutely stunning piece of kit. So I'm going to give you a full tour of this. We're going to start on the outside, we're going to do the inside and we're going to every area. But right from the front, I think this looks magnificent in this metallic silver and look at the spotlights on it. That looks really cool. You can see on this side there's a big slide out and there's slide outs on the other side as well. And when we go inside, uh, you can see them there and there. You'll see just how much difference those make. We'll do the interior first of all. There's an interesting surprise on the outside as well, which we'll come to at the end. But let's start on the inside. You've got these steps here. You can see that retract. It's got keypad entry, so it's keyless. So if you've got a bunch of you, you can just give people the code and they can help themselves. And then if we go on inside, what I do like about this is how contemporary it is. So I love the color scheme. It's very muted. It's very smart and it looks really good. Now in here, you can really see the benefits of these slide outs. You can see how this one has moved out on this side and the same here. These come in, you can still use the vehicle with them in. What you get, of course, is you lose this huge floor space because they come in to about here and you end up with sort of passageway down the center. Let's go right to the front and we'll work our way back. Now this looks like the driving seat and the passenger seat have been reversed. In fact, they're not, there's two rows of seats. So these spin round it means that when you're underway, four people can sit up here and they've all got proper seats, proper seat belts. And you'll see then right at the front, these are the driving seats and the cab. This is based on a Mercedes Articus. So that's the chassis that it has. These are folded forward, of course, to make room for these ones. When you're underway, they spin around and those drop back. Now, as you come back from here, there is in fact a big bed that will drop down from here. So you've got extra if you want it. You've also got a telescopic leg on this table, so that will drop down and you'll notice these hinges mean that you can make this table a lot larger if you want to. But that's a very nice, comfortable, snug. There is, of course, storage up above in places like this. And these are speakers. It has a surround sound system that links to this TV over here. Opposite that then is the galley or the kitchen. And so here you have things like your fridge freezer, And then across here again, more storage in places like this. And then it's all electric cooking. There's a generator on this vehicle and there's also solar panels on the top so you can power a lot of it from that. This one here is your bins. This one's a dishwasher. And then your oven is on that side. A couple of other things to show you while we're in this area. This is the control system for the vehicle. So on here we have it on lights at the moment. There are presets, so you can hit this one here, for example, at night, and it just dims everything down. You can see these sliders of the dimmers for each one. Or if you're leaving the vehicle, hit that one, and the whole lot goes off. This button here then, and everything springs back to life. So that makes life very easy. But as I say, you can adjust these individually. What else have we got? If we hit this one here, that's showing you the slide outs. You'll see there's a top on here as well. So this raises up to give you headroom in the back. And I will explain that in a moment. You can see it's got an alert that the entrance door is open. That's your climate control. So again, your different zones. Garage rather gives away the secret that we've got coming up at the end. Water systems are on here as well. And that one is taking us back to lighting. This is a Ray Marine system. If you follow my Aquaholic channel, you'll have seen those before. And just while we're here as well, this is the levelling system so that when the vehicle is parked, there's jacks that go down, lift it off the ground and level it so you can keep it completely flat. Opposite here then, we have big storage area in here. And that's that TV that we mentioned. You can see it's got the Harman Kardon soundbar above it as well. And then as we head on back down the vehicle, this is the bathroom. Now there is a door that slides across here. like so. So obviously you can have some privacy and then there's another door here so it closes this area off completely but it's a really big area because it's the full beam of the vehicle. So toilet is here, there's a very nice shower, it's a rainfall shower as you can see and then on the other side then you have your sink and obviously a bit more storage about the place as well like so. And as we come right to the back then, you've got these steps that come up and this brings us to the completely enclosed bedroom. 
Now this is where we have the raised height. So when this vehicle's on the road, this is dropped down and this comes down. That is actually the height of the vehicle. When you're stopped, you raise it up. And that's what gives you the headroom in this area. It's a proper bedroom though. Look how you can walk right around the bed. There is of course, wardrobes like so. And then you've got more storage underneath here. Another TV system in here. And then all these blinds are electric, same on the ceiling. So there's a big sky on the ceiling and then you've got the blind that comes across, as you can see. But that is a really lovely area. Very nice indeed. So you've got sleeping there. And as I say, you have got sleeping up at the front by dropping that forward bed down and by converting the seating. Very nice indeed. Let's go and take a look around the outside. There's one thing in particular that I want to show you out here. So come back down these steps. Now there's quite a few systems in underneath places like this. So this is things like the tank. Storage is in there. That I think I'm right in saying is the hydraulics for the lifting kit. I might be wrong, but I think that's what that is. And then here, again, more systems and more storage. And we can go all the way forward. Again, more tankage and so on. The other thing we have on the outside of the vehicle here, there's a massive awning. You can just see it. It's retracted at the minute along the top. So that extends out when you're parked. If you want to have this area shaded, that will do that. Let's go all the way around. It's a smart bit of kit, isn't it? And then down on this side, again, these are systems and storage, as you can see. Those there, for example, are the bases for the jacking system. So when you're parked, you put those down, the jacks come down on them and that spreads the load. So if you're on a soft surface, they still work. That's the hot water system in there. And this one actually has the generator in it. So that is what powers the vehicle. Obviously, it will hook up to a, uh, a 240 volt system if you're parked. If you don't have access to that, then you can run it from that. And as I mentioned earlier, I think there is solar panels on the roof as well, just for completion. Let's check out that one. There we go. That's some of the plumbing systems in there. It's got rear wheel steering, so for manoeuvring in tight places, you can really crank that round. That works very well. And perhaps my favorite thing of all on this vehicle is right at the back. Check this out. This is actually a garage. It's a proper garage. That will take a Mini Cooper. So you can put a proper four-seater car in there. When you get to where you're going, you park up your vehicle and you've got that to head into town or go out exploring. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? And as I mentioned earlier, there's even heating in there. That there is the winch to actually winch it in with. Very, very impressive vehicle indeed. So there we go. Huge thanks to Empire RV for organising that tour. Let me know what you think of that one. I'd be intrigued to hear your comments. And we've got some more RVs coming, so do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and it'll keep you posted each time they're uploaded. We'll catch you on another one very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.